I purchased some 300 amp hour 12 volt lithium batteries from eBay to hook up to the SunGro SH5K inverter. They're replacing my lead acid bank, which is cactus. This is battery number two. The first one already measured 13.13 volts, which is fine. 13.12 volts, perfect. 13.11, perfect. Thirteen point one one. Perfect. Okay, so negative battery terminal, positive to negative, one there, positive to negative, one connection there, positive to negative, one connection there, and then back to the regulator, positive. Negative regulator, positive regulator. The holes are too small. All right, disconnect the cables and draw them out. Okay. Again, positive to negative. Check. 26.25. 39.2. And the final series connection. Let's hold both ends. Now we should have a full 48 volt pack. So from negative to positive, 52.3 volts, perfect. Tighten them all up and then connect to the inverter, configure the inverter. Positive voltage here and here, 52.2 volts, perfect. So that should be fine to put the fuse in and configure the inverter. So there's a booklet containing the battery specs which go into the SunGrow inverter. The modules are connected in series so the total pack is 300 amp hours capacity. Next is the charging voltage. 14.6 volts times 4 is a 58.4 volt pack. That's the pack charging voltage. The discharge cutoff voltage is 40 volts.
but actually I'm using 48 volts, which is a very safe value to use. My end of charge value is 50 volts, which represents 90% discharge and a 12.5 volts per module. The charge and discharge current is entered as a C rating. The max is 60 amps for charging, which is 0.2C. I will be using 0.16C, which is 48 amps. Here's the SunGrow Inverter battery setup page. The rated battery voltage is around 52 volts. I'll set up the SOC min to 20% so we can use the top 80% of the battery, but it's more likely that it'll terminate on the discharge termination voltage anyway, which is 50 volts, and that represents 90%, so it'll either be 80% or 90% discharged. The charge voltage which we calculated before is 58.4 volts. Obviously the battery capacity is 300 amp hours and the battery minimum voltage is 48 volts. SunGrow offers the iSolar Cloud service for online tracking of all of your solar inverter data. It even shows in real time how much power is going into the house, into the grid and into the battery. The charts are pretty cool and it shows the solar power, the charge and the discharge of the battery. And that's it. I'll monitor the batteries over the next couple of months and see how they perform.